All right, everybody. Good morning. Ben Rezzi here for Odd Shopper. What's going on? Happy Sunday. It is August 25th in the sports world. It all rolls on. We got week zero in the books for college football. A lot of good. But why? Ugh, not good. But overall, I would have taken the day if you would have asked me how it ended. We're going to look forward now and put a bet on the board here. I want to welcome you into Odd Shopper. All things betting from the tools to the picks to the content. We've got something for everyone. And that's what I'm really excited about where you see it on the screen right here. We've got both a marketplace that is brand new, which is absolutely fantastic, and absolutely cutting edge EV betting tools if you're more into that. So choose your own adventure, choose your own path. But if you're on this channel, I hope you take a look around the content sphere. If you like what we see, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Yesterday, the Guardians for us on this video, pretty easy money, honestly. Cash the ticket, they won going away. That's what we like to see. We're building some momentum. Let's round out another week. With another positive and just keep adding units in August. I hope you have been around. And honestly, I can't say it enough. If you enjoy this video, first of all, it's appreciated. But go into this marketplace, find an insider, particularly this one. That would be me. I am dropping so much content in here. It's a great community. We're growing pick quickly. Uh, you obviously see the picks that I gave out here, but there's so much more. In the premium section, again, I'm dropping all sorts of plays. You get the Discord as well. You're going to see all these channels, live plays, talking through strategies, having fun. It's all about that. It is worth the price of admission. Come in for a week. Come in for a month. Just give it a try. I really stand behind it. I think you would really enjoy it. You'd be an awesome addition to the community. The link is below. I'll see you in there. Let's just make some money. Now, let's try to make some money right now. We're going to Sunday Night Baseball, and it's a tough game. There's no doubt about it, but the more I dug, Found a spot, a spot that I like, and it's the Astros. On the road at minus 110, BetMGM is the spot. Need to save every cent. And minus 110 was the best line that I could find. Two quality teams here. There's no doubt about it. This is not a lopsided matchup. Uh, it's going to be a very competitive matchup, but there are small edges that, to me, add up enough to take a position on Houston tonight. So let's go through the routine here. We've got a 69-60 and 60 Astros team, 34-31 and 31 on the road, fighting to win that division. Should be in the playoffs, no problem. They're a good team. Lost two of the first three in the series. When you go to Baltimore, it's no joke. But they've got the right man on the mound, and that's really going to be the theme of this video for me. Yusai Kikuchi on the mound, 6-9 and nine with a 4.37. 4.27 on the road, but a 2.42 in August. This guy has been dealing. He, the team has won all four of his August starts. They've won five straight starts for him, and he has really looked good. He has found something. It's not some radical shift. He's just been pitching really quality outputs. And they could use it. Uh, you know, these have been competitive games. I think both bullpens, you could argue, are a little taxed. Nothing major. I mean, it's everyday baseball. But at the same time, a quality start from Kikuchi will go a long way here. And I think we ju get just that. Now, he has to shut down these Orioles bats. No easy task. And I respect them. Of course, 76 and 55. You have to. 39 and 29 at home. Both teams run differentials are very, very strong. These are good teams. Uh, Dean Kramer gets the ball six and nine with a 4.30, 4.85 at home. Opponent batting average does jump up 259 at home versus 184 on the road. He's got a 4.64 in August. I'm not going to make a strong case that we're going to absolutely torch him and pick him apart, but I will say Kikuchi to me, I feel a lot more confident in my starter, uh, than the Orioles. And I do think we can get some production from these bats. If we can do that and get him out of the game, turn it over to the bullpen. That's always the formula for success. You have two very, very sharp teams here, no doubt about it, playing pretty quality baseball. But to me, the Astros, I think, should be the favorite. Uh, and obviously, at minus 110 on both sides, we have to overcome the juice. But I think the Astros, uh, by first pitch, you know, minus 120 range, something like that, for these small margins, I'm going to ride with them here. I think they level the series. They end up splitting it, which is an impressive output when you play four in Baltimore. Just Kikuchi gives us a quality start. The bats get to Kramer a little bit. You get into the bullpen. Let's get out of here. Eight and a half run total, slightly just to the under. I think this game could play out. You know, we've seen a, a three, two, a seven, five. There's all sorts of games in this series. I think that continues. I have no feel on that total whatsoever. I'm riding with the Astros tonight in the baseball streets. I already mentioned what I've got going on in my discord, all the plays, the community, the strategy, it's just a fun time. If you have questions though, I'm happy to help on Twitter at jazz bets. I'm around. I'm available. Happy to talk through Odd Shop or any, anything, really. Uh, just here as a resource. Would love to have you guys reach out. And on the way out, hit the like button. It really does help us out here. But let's put a stamp on this one. Houston Astros get it done tonight. 
and cap what hopefully is a really good week for all of us. So for me, for the Astros, and for the Orioles, thanks again for tuning in. Enjoy your Sunday. I'll see you tomorrow for the start of a new week.